Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time for a Blu-ray update. This time it is from Imprint and we have a couple of box sets here and a couple of special editions of films which, uh, yeah, I suppose we'll get to. Let's dive into something that I'm eager to check out but I know very little about and that is Gene Hackman and Film Focus. This is something that Imprint are starting to do where they pick an actor, they're grouping a bunch of their films together, things that aren't as well known as you would think and... Um, yeah, let's see how that plays out. I'm interested in this because I, I thought I'd seen a lot of Hackman movies and then you see the ones that are in this set and you're just like, I, I don't think I've ever heard of any of those before. So we have I Never Sang For My Father from 1970. We have The Domino Principle from 1977. Uh, we have Bite the Bullet from 1975 and March or Die from 77. So all mid-70s movies um, from... Gene Hackman, um, and I've I've kind of missed Hackman a lot recently. Uh, he's always someone whenever he appears in a movie, gives a great performance, uh, stunning. So I'm looking forward to delving into this, and I hate just showing boxes and stuff like that, but I think it's pretty cool, um, and I'm looking forward to checking these ones out. They've got a couple more coming. I'm really looking forward to the George Pappard one, so that'll be amazing. Uh, a couple of standard releases that I've got from Via Vision is um, the anthology movie from 1995, Four Rooms. This has a segment by Tarantino and one by Robert Rodriguez. I watched this film way too many times when I was younger. Loved the hell out of it and I was eager to check it out again. Don't have it on Blu-ray and I don't think it's it's been out on Blu-ray at all. So yeah, picked this one up, watched it. I loved it. Now it has a really um, poor rating on most things. A lot of people seem to hate this film. There's a really broad sense of humour, tongue in cheek, especially with Tim Roth's performance. I really enjoy Four Rooms. I enjoy the four stories. I don't think there's a bad one amongst it. Um, some of them are excellent and it's something that I can easily put on and enjoy. The very definition of a comfort movie. A film that I, I went to watch once and something happened and I just never got back to it. I don't have any discs of it. I really should have seen it by now and that is Wolf Creek. Now this edition has both the standard edition and the unrated edition which there's about six minutes of difference. I know this is kind of, is it based or something on a, a true story? I love Australian films. I love Australian kind of exploitation films of which this definitely fits into it. I should have seen it long before now. It was time for me to get around to it. So I'll be checking it out soon and reviewing it for the channel. Finally, the set I have long been waiting for. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. It feels like such a long time and that is The Walter Hill, directed by Set. So. We've got Hard Times, The Driver, The Long Riders, Extreme Prejudice, Johnny Handsome and Broken Trail. Now out of these titles, I have seen three of these films. Hard Times, The Driver, Johnny Handsome and I think I might have seen Extreme Prejudice. Although I can't remember too much about it so I'll see you once I put that one on. Um, Walter Hill was one of my favourite directors. He just knew what he was doing. There was never an ounce of fat on his films. They were always pulpy. They were always interesting, funny, violent, whatever. It was just a great set of films that this guy had out in the late 70s, right into the late 80s, or most of that stuff I loved. Johnny Handsome is something I haven't seen in a number of years, and I am really looking forward to getting to that one to check it out. The Drivers, a Stone Cold classic, Hard Times, love it. Um, Broken Trail, I didn't watch this, but this is a TV miniseries, two-parter, three hours or something, so uh, that'll be interesting when I get to that as well, but I, I'm so glad to finally get this set. It is absolutely phenomenal, um, wonderful edition. I went through and had a look at all the kind of extras and discs that are on it, and uh, I'm just waiting to delve into it. So that's kind of everything that I picked up from Inprint recently, which um, is hefty. Uh, I wish I could have got the Sydney G Fury set as well, but maybe further down the line I'll pick that up. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because reviews of these will be coming soon. I'd love to know what you think of any of these titles, whether you think they're great, bad, poor, 
all right, whatever, let me know in the comment box below your thoughts on the films, uh, what I should look out for, what aren't as great, especially from the Gene Hackman set, if you know any of those. There is uh, more content up here, we can see more of my stuff if you're interested. In the description box below are links to the Patreon, Membership Programme and manvfilm.com, all ways in which you can support me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.